All right, this week, guys, we're going to do another tie-in test. This is one of the flies I like to use a lot for bowfin, um, or grinnell, or whatever, dogfish, whatever people call them where you're at. Uh, they're backwater fish. They live in backwater creeks. So they love slow currents. The uh, place we're going to fish is a creek that has almost zero current. And there's just a ton of these fish, and they feed on a lot of different things, so you can catch them different ways. We're actually going to fly fish for them. So we're going to tie up a streamer-style fly, because where I'm at, they eat a lot of shad. So, as far as materials go, pretty easy. As you'd expect, you need thread. Now we can do this about however you want, so materials are kind of up to you. They're not super picky fish. On this fly, I think we're going to end up using bucktail, just because I like the action of that a little bit better. You can also do synthet synthetic fur. Works just as well. A little easier to cast if you're trying to get it down further in the water column. But I think we're going to stick with bucktail and do a split shot on top of it if we need to, to get any of it to sink. Other thing you're going to want is some hackle and we're just going to use a couple different colors of this to kind of give it a little bit of three-dimensional features so pretty easy to start off really nothing complicated about streamers i think people make you can make these as fancy or not as you want i think people overdo these a lot it just needs to look a little bit like a minnow and a fish will happily eat it We're just going to build up a little bit of a body. Oh, I didn't even talk about this. Hook size is actually kind of important in this. You can catch them on small hooks, and I've done it. It's not great. If you step up to a bigger hook, this is about a 1 or 2 watt hook, which you use for bass fishing typically. This is kind of your best shot. A big hook gives you the ability to set a hook well. But this long distance you have here is really important. Both in are really toothy critters. And so they have the ability to bite through line fairly easily. So if you get the long hook, when you set that hook, you're generally their teeth are going to be on that hook as opposed to your line. So keep that in mind. Or you can use a leader. I don't like using steel leaders on anything. Uh, find when you break those off, those get stuck in fish's mouth, and those have a much higher tensile strength usually. And so they're harder for fish to shake if you end up losing your rigs. So we're going to go, we're going to use the white from this bucktail. We're going to get... Oh, let's say that's a pretty good chunk. And we're not we're not going delicate on this fly. Bigger and meaner this thing is, the better. I don't really know the technical names of what we're doing here, but we're gonna get a couple of strips of the black and white and a couple strips of the gray. Start out with the black and white and we're going to give a little bit of body here on the side. I think we're going to go for four of the gray. We're going to go with smaller smaller pieces and we're going to run those down across the top. Obviously you could have put some flash in this if you wanted flash. I'm not a huge fan of flash especially in this scenario. So we're going to leave that there. And I think that's pretty good. Nothing, really nothing too complicated. I mean this will catch fish. Uh, if it doesn't weigh quite enough, just put a split shot in front of it, and it'll sink just fine. Pretty decent sized fly, but they'll eat this no problem. And it looks alright. Not the prettiest fly, but it's an effective one. So, there we go. Put a little bit of head cement on this, and you'll be ready to go. And there we are, there's two flies all set and ready to go. Top one's bucktail, bottom one's synthetic. But you'll catch fish on these, you really don't need to get fancy. These bowfin will hit anything that looks remotely like a fish. So let's go out and see if we can get these to work. It just rained a ton, so it's going to be a difficult day, but I think we can get on a couple of them if we're patient.
we go guys. A little bow fin. Started raining so I put you guys up for the most part. Hid you under a tree, but just a little guy. We switched up to a different fly. Just another little streamer. This is another bucktail streamer. Uh, same idea entirely. Just a tiny bit of flash. Only switched to it because I lost my bigger ones. And I was rewarded with this little guy. We'll let him go, but look at how cool these fish are. I absolutely love them. They put up a doggish fight. I would rather catch these than bass just about any day. There you go, buddy.